Welcome to another episode of Glide Chat featuring Glide Fast Consulting's recruiting team. I'm Haley Wong, recruiting manager. In today's podcast, we're going to meet the recruiting team and hear the perspectives on all things Glide Fast and what makes us truly the best in the business. But first, we're going to play a little game. We're going to play Two Truths and a Lie. And for our YouTube friends, make sure you pause the video and comment down below which you think is the lie. We just might come back in the comment section and confirm. I'm kidding. We're going to give you the answers later. Uh, But play along. Let's have some fun. So Libby, take it away. Hi, everyone. My name is Libby Waddell. I am a recruiter with GlideFast Consulting. I live in the Philadelphia area, and I've been a part of the GlideFast team for about 11 months now. I've been in the recruiting space a total of about four years, and three of those have been specific to the ServiceNow space. So my two truths that a lie are I drove from Philly to Montana within three days and stopped at seven national parks in a course of one month. Next one, I have two pets who are both rescues, and I've jumped out of an airplane in two different continents. Perfect. Hey, guys, my name is Tori. I'm a recruiter with GlideFast as well. I've been with the company a little over three months. I have four years of recruiting background, and I am currently in Columbus, Ohio. And I will say my two truths and a lie, I am from Michigan. I have a great Dane and I went to Michigan State University. Awesome. Hello, everyone. My name is Megha Sharma. I am a recruiter at Glidefast. I have been with Glidefast since January, so it's been three months and I'm really enjoying my time here at Glidefast with my team. I have been in the recruitment space for almost three years now. I am in Alberta. I'm a part of the Canada team. About my two truths in the lie, I would say that the first one is I can speak five languages. The second one is that uh, my wedding went viral because it was the first wedding year during the pandemic. So if you search my name, you'll find me. The third one I'll say is that I have visited uh, six countries. Very nice. I guess I should play along too, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give my two truths in a lie. First one is I once met Paula Abdul at a Sam's Club. The second one is the first album I ever bought was Shania Twain's Come On Over. And the third is Disney's really overrated and I don't like it at all. All right. Thanks, recruiters, uh, for your two truths and a lie. Everyone, make sure you pause, comment down below what you think is the lie, and we'll play along. Let's dive into the pod. And one thing I really want to touch on is our culture. Oftentimes, we are really just immersed into it. And I want to have a couple of little moments to talk about that. First question is, you know, how would we all describe the company culture? And can we give an example of a time where we felt valued? Libby? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, So truly glide fast culture is my favorite thing to talk about with candidates just because it's really my favorite thing about working here. If I were to put it in one word, I would probably describe glide fast as a family. It's just very supportive. People are constantly recognizing everyone's achievements, even if it's the littlest thing, which is great to see on a daily basis. And you just really feel like you're a part of something and you're not just a number in your organization. And when was a time that you really felt valued? Yeah. So I guess I would say what I really felt valued was kind of when you've entrusted me to kind of help out and mentor more junior recruiters or sourcers um, when you're like out of office or, you know, in a meeting or something. So that's definitely a time where I really felt valued. Yeah, I, I love this question. This is my favorite question that I get asked when I'm doing interviews. And, you know, I've been at the company a little over three months and by far it's been one of the most favorite position I've had because of the culture. That was the biggest thing I was looking for when I was, um, you know, doing interviews myself. And it definitely got a good sense of humor, which is something I really appreciate. When I first started here, this was actually my first remote job. I was worried that I was going to be really bored and lonely. And I have not been either of those since I've started here. Um, You know, from like our Slack channels, just specifically for dad jokes to posting pictures of our, you know, our dogs, our kids, our food. It's been one of, you know, my favorite things about the company is just how everyone has a great sense of humor. Uh, Even last night, I was in a group chat talking about how I would survive an apocalypse. So, you know, that's definitely, I think, you know, it's just one of the things I've really enjoyed being here is how, how funny everyone is. And I can definitely say for myself in the three months I've been here, 
the one most memorable time for myself is um, it was my birthday last month. And I am in Columbus and we have an office in Cincinnati and my manager, she was, happened to be in town Haley. And she like asked me what my favorite cake was. I drove down to Cincinnati, I got to meet, you know, my ATC team and uh, Haley for the first time. And a lot of the people in the Cincinnati office and they threw a little birthday party for me. So, I mean, that made me feel really good, especially being fully remote that, you know, they got together and they did that for me. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that is also my favorite question as well. And I'm really, you know, I'm really excited to answer that one as well. I would say describe the the Glidefast culture as very family oriented too, because uh, what we have seen here is that everybody is very much approachable and you feel like, you know, it's a very, very friendly culture out here. You can reach out to anybody. And the main part is that if you want to be heard, there is always somebody to listen to you. That's what I really love about this culture, because uh, there are a lot of times, you know, when when people think that, you know, they are stuck and uh, what do we do? Sometimes people want to grow up in their path. So what I've heard from, you know, interviewing candidates is that that's where they feel that what's the next step? How do we go about it? So I'm like that, you know, you can definitely reach out to anybody and, uh, you know, you want to talk to be it your supervisor, be it your, you know, even the director, even the owner, or Mr. Lombardo, everybody is so much approachable. They are just a message away. So this is something that I really, really have enjoyed here. And one example I would say about our great culture is that we had uh, we celebrated Chinese New Year uh, over a video call with all of our Blight Fast family here. And uh, we were making cocktails and sharing some fun facts and stories during that celebration. So it was amazing, amazing. The other thing I would say is that uh, whenever some new, uh, uh, I mean, something major takes place in the company or some, some happiness or anything that happens, we are all a part of it. So we all have a say in that. And uh, yeah, that's that's what I've loved about Life Fast and I've not seen in any other company at all that I've worked, being very honest. Absolutely. I would say my favorite thing about the culture and the best way to describe it is a culmination of all three of the recruiters here and what they've said. This company will value you for what you've been able to accomplish and the role that you perform and that you carry out each day, but they'll also value you as a person. Tori's bizarre survival skills for the zombie apocalypse, you know, Libby's pets, Mega's cultural awareness for Lunar New Year. And for me, my love for dad jokes is just astronomical. And I'm actually quite known for that. You guys, I don't know if you know this, I'll be sending autographs later, but I'm the reigning dad joke champion of Glidefast and I will stand by that title. And I just felt so valued the first time someone said, this sounds like something Haley would say. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> that is my legacy is terrible jokes and I'm here for it. Okay, guys. So next question I really want to ask and I want to take some time and really talk about this. We'll go around the room and we'll talk about something that you've accomplished in your role here that you're really proud of. Libby? Yeah. So, I mean, us as a team as a whole have accomplished so much in the last year, which has been really cool to see um, just growing out the entire team. But specific to myself, I would say that I've been really proud about growing out the business process consultant team this past year. I don't know the exact number, but we've gone through a huge period of growth in the time that I've been here. And I think we're around like 40 something business process consultants at this point. So that like little project in itself has kind of been my baby for the last year. Um, and just to see how big we've grown uh, since we started that is just really cool to see. So I'm very, very proud of that. Uh, yes, yeah, so definitely for myself, I'm going to say, you know, I come from a sales recruiting background. So being just able to hang with you guys and you know what I mean, um, get all the information, actually succeed at hiring technical consultants and architects is a huge win for me. But how Libby had kind of said, you know, with BPs, ATCs are my babies as well now. So associate technical consultants, we are wrapping up my first cohort recruiting for it. And it's been pretty successful. I'm, you know, we're going to be hitting that goal. So also shout out to my ATC interviewers and teams. Um, I'm really proud of everyone. We've been doing awesome. And I'm really proud of that. Yeah, so I would say that uh, I have hired a lot of TC and architects uh, for our company Glidefast. And I, what I've heard is that they have been a great culture fit. So I'm really proud of that. The other thing is that uh, I'm now hiring for a sales role as well. 
regional sales executives uh, that I had never hired before. So I'm really proud that I'm taking on a new challenge here. Technically, I would say that uh, TC and the architect roles are my babies, but I am now focusing on the other areas as well. And uh, I am also now focusing on getting a lot of candidates for Canada team as well. So hiring all over US and Canada. So yeah, that's uh, my accomplishment. I'm really proud of it. Thank you. Nice. Snaps to Mika. Go Team Canada. I feel like one thing that I'm really proud of that I've been able to accomplish at GlideVast is helping launch our buddy program. This is our way to have our new hires and our current employees come together and form bonds and really just bring in the culture of we're here to help. One team, one goal. Let's work together. Let's start something great. And that's something that I'm really proud of. Okay, guys. Another question that I wanted to ask is, what are you most excited to tell candidates about when they're interviewing? So for me, one thing that I'm really excited to talk to candidates about is that if you have an idea in the company, we just say, go for it, you know, put your passion and your energy into it. An example is we really walk the walk and talk the talk. We do everything in only service now, including our own applicant tracking system. It's built by one of our very own senior consultants. It works. It's amazing. We rely on it. It's just an example of you have an idea. We just say go for it. Yeah. So I would say there's so many things that I'm excited to speak with candidates about. But the number one thing that I think I'm the most excited to speak with them about is that GlideFast probably has what they're looking for. And what I mean by that is I like to ask a candidate when I'm on the phone with them, like, you know, what are you looking for in your next adventure? Like, what are you looking for in the next company, in the role? And then I can go from there and speak about the culture, which I previously spoke about loving so much, the huge potential for growth, flexibility, you know, working with an awesome team. So I feel like majority of the time when a candidate is looking for something specific, GlideFast has that to offer. And kind of speaking from my own personal experience as well, I feel like there's not a day where I'm not showing up to work with a smile on my face. I'm like excited to work with my team. I'm excited to do what I do on a daily basis. Um, So I love talking with candidates about that as well. Tori? All right. My favorite thing is definitely when I'm on the phone with someone and it's been a theme since I've started is the fact that we have been a certified ServiceNow training partner. So anything that, you know, our people want to learn on service now, we can teach them, which I know a lot of people, you know, can't say a lot of companies can't say that. So that's something I've been extremely proud of. And I can tell from a lot of my candidates reactions, you know, there's so much to learn. I had no idea how big service now was. So I started here. It's a huge platform. So anything you want to learn, we can teach you. And I, that's something that we're really proud of. And I know it excites a lot of people. Yeah, so there are so many things to talk about, uh, the great things at Lightfast. But one thing that I really enjoy sharing during my interviews with my candidates, and they always come back to me saying that, Mega, this is a rare thing to know that Lightfast is doing is that uh, we have a dev help channel. We use Slack for communicating with our team members. And we have a dev help channel where all the company employees are part of it and say that a TC is working on something and a code broke. So that person can simply drop in a message that, hey, guys, I was working on something and my code broke. Can somebody please help? Within a fraction of seconds, you would see so many responses, so many people helping, jumping in and helping that person out. So no matter what time it is, if it is 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, no matter what project the other person is working on, if they know an answer, they'll definitely jump in. So whenever I share this example with my candidates that this is the kind of culture we have and this is the kind of support we provide to our candidates, they are really, you know, excited to know and they are thrilled. All right. That was our culture segment. I want to make sure we get to talk a little bit more about the candidates. So one of my questions, speaking of candidates, is, you know, what advice would we give to candidates who are about to interview with us or are going through the interview stages? So my biggest word of advice for any candidate going through the GlideFast interview process is just really, it's important to show your personality in your interview. GlideFast is like a bunch of unique characters and that's what like makes it like such a great place to work, such a great company. There's a specific example that I wanted to go over. So I had a candidate who was interviewing for an architect position and he showed up to a Zoom interview. He had like a hamburger filter on his face. And I think it was an accident, but like our whole like interview Slack channel was like blowing up and we were like cracking up about it. Um, And it was like not a bad thing. Like we thought it was so funny. It made this guy stand out. And now he is a part of the GlideFast team as an architect. So yeah, definitely 
first and foremost, I think that, you know, really important to let your personality shine through. Yeah, I 1000% agree with that. Um, Just to top it off, I will say, you know, do your research. I think when you go into the interview process and you're excited about a company and you, you know your stuff, it definitely, you know, shines a light on you. So I would say like, just like do your research, know some stuff about us because the more you read, the more you're going to get excited. And I think that will show through your interview. I totally agree with you, Libby and Tori. Absolutely. And uh, the kind of advice I would give to our candidates out there is that uh, we are looking for a people's person, somebody who can, you know, be very easily approachable, be easy to talk to, be a team member and, uh, you know, bring in a lot of initiatives. Uh, So we want to see that kind of enthusiasm uh, when we talk to you during the interview. So, yeah, that's what I would like to say. Yeah, I think you guys have great answers when it comes to advice for candidates. One thing I also would say is just remember, it's just as much of a fit for the candidate to evaluate us as much as it is for us to evaluate the candidate. So I would say use the opportunity to ask questions. Be curious. You know, very often times you get to meet people who live this on a day-to-day basis. And even going beyond the recruiters, I mean, we're here, obviously, but when you have a chance to meet other members of our team, take that into your advantage and just get to know us because as we've covered, the team here is amazing. So definitely that's my advice is to just be curious and have some fun with it. And actually I wanted to, for our next question, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about growth. We talk a lot about how we encourage growth and I was wondering if we had any examples of someone joining the team and achieving their career goal. Yes. So I previously spoke about uh, the business process consultants we brought on in the last year. I can think of three specific business process consultants that we brought on within the last six months who've already been promoted internally to a solutions consultant role. So the possibility is very real. Uh, if you have a goal of you know working your way up to a different position within an organization, Glidefast is definitely a great place to do so. So yeah, I mean, we have tons of other examples that happens, I would say, on a monthly basis. We have promotions going on. I interview people who might be coming in as a more functional role who are interested in them working their way into more of a technical role. So we do provide that ability as well. And, you know, if you're upfront with your wants and needs and career goals with us, uh, we can really make that happen and make sure, you know, that it's a possibility a little bit later down the road. Absolutely. And even to back that up and follow that up, if someone comes in and they have an interest point, we're of course going to bring you in for, for what you're good at and what we need you to do, but we're always going to have that constant conversation of what's next, what's the next step. And so to Libby's point, we have a lot of internal promotions. You know, if we say we know someone wants to get to this point by a certain time, we're going to work with you on how to actually build some blocks to get there. I would even say I'm an example. I came in as an inside sales rep definitely newer to the corporate world. I had a lot to learn. I had a lot to grow into. And my sales director at the time just asked me very casually, what is something that you want to learn? What's next for you? And I just said kind of in passing, because I wasn't super sure. I just said, I don't know, maybe recruiting. That sounds like it's transferable. That sounds fun. And I guess I must have liked it because I've been doing it now for the past two and a half years. So it's my career now. I know Snap. Thank you, Libby. And I love it. And it's all thanks to Glidefast. Love that we're talking about growth and, you know, how we have some real examples. And one of the last questions I really wanted to ask you guys is what makes a candidate Glidefast level? You know, what really makes someone a Glidefast employee? So I would say for my top three things that make someone glide fast level is going to be a good team player, someone who is a problem solver, and then someone who has like a really strong passion for the ServiceNow platform who really loves the ServiceNow space and wants to do more with it. Yeah, definitely. I'll give top two. Definitely what Libby said. I'm going to say a passion for what you do. You know, we won service now as partner of the year for a reason. And also, of course, if there's a theme that I've been sticking to, you got to have a sense of humor. 
Yeah, so I definitely 100% agree with you, Libby and Tori. Uh, my top three would be the same. Uh, be really passionate about service now because that's what we really exist for. Be a people's person, you know, and be a team player. The additional one I would say is that if you are able to bring in some, uh, you know, great best practices or put in some initiatives out there for our team, for our company, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I definitely will say Yes to all of that. And the one thing that would even add for me is stay curious. I think the saying goes, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. You know, there's always something to keep learning. We're always right here to grow. We're always ready to learn. And that's my thing is stay curious. Okay. And that's it for our program. Before we sign out for the day, I do want to reveal the lies, right? That's what we stayed tuned for. Let's see if you were right in the comments section on YouTube. For me, I love Disney. So I, that was my lie. Um, I'm a huge Disney fan. I have a Disneyland pass. It's a running joke with my team. They say, what are you doing? And they already go, oh, Disney. <laughs> so that's me. Lib. Um, my lie was that I, I've never jumped out of an airplane. That's actually like my number one fear. So I will never be doing that either. That's my lie. <laughs> okay, so my lie is I do have a dog. It is just not a Great Dane. It's a little French bulldog. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, Micah? My little lie is that I have not been to six countries. I have uh, been to only two countries. Uh, one is uh, Canada. <laughs> and the other one is I've visited a lot of places in my home country, India. Very nice. Who was right? Who guessed the lie? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Give us a like and subscribe. Message us directly on LinkedIn. See if you knew what the lie was. If you guessed it right, we're, we're here. And that's a wrap. We hope we gave you all some good insight on what it is at GlideFast with the culture and what it means to be a part of the GlideFast team. Thank you for joining the recruiting team for another episode of Glide Chat. And for any open positions, uh, you can visit glidefast.com slash careers or reach out to any of us directly on LinkedIn. Thanks, guys.